That brings us to Alabama State head coach Reggie Barlow. Is Coach Barlow on the call? Yes, sir. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Uh, Coach Barlow, your troops uh, traveled to Eastern Michigan. Uh, a hard fought, uh, close loss, 14 to seven. Uh, I think, if memory serves me right, the first FBS opponent that uh, the Hornets have ever played. If you could just kind of summarize that uh, matchup, and then uh, talk about a, a big conference match you've got this week with Grambling coming to town. Yes, sir. Um, we, uh, you know, we we went to Eastern Michigan mm. and uh, played against them, and of course they are, you know, FBS school. And you know, whenever you get an opportunity to go and uh, match wits and see how you measure up. Uh, against uh, those uh, FBS schools, you know, it's always exciting for the guys. Uh, of course, all of them feel like they uh, belong on that level, and uh, I like that that confidence and all. But anyway, we uh, hard fought game. Uh, of course, uh, they have two really good running backs. And, uh, they want to run the ball. Of course, they were able to do that on as they had a lot of success running the ball. But uh, our defense uh, was still solid uh, in the passing game and. And coming up with big stops and you know getting turnovers and all, and uh, we just uh, just couldn't score uh, offensively. Uh, uh, you know, struggled a little bit offensively, but all in all, it was a good experience for our young men to travel up there and uh, play against uh, Eastern Michigan. Of course, there's a lot of alumni uh, in in the Detroit area, so it was uh, good that all those people were able to come and uh, support us and uh, be a part of it. Uh, this week's game. Uh, against Gramlin, of course we, uh, you know, Gramlin is. When you hear the name, the history and tradition uh, uh, that they have there, it's always been outstanding. And uh, of course this year, of course they're, they're a solid team. Uh, Coach Doug Williams back in the conference, which you know brings a lot of credibility and experience, and uh, just a, a really good guy. Um, so you know we know we got a, a huge challenge. Their defense is really good. They play fast, uh, play uh, with a lot of energy, uh, and uh, you know it's it's scary watching them on on tape. They're good, and uh, of course, uh, with DJ starting there, um, um, you know he he's a solid guy, has pedigree, and uh, of course they got weapons around him. So uh, it'll be a challenge for us. Uh, Gramlin has uh, really, uh, <laughs> I mean they they really you know dominated us here. Uh, over the last couple of years, and uh, so we know we got a huge challenge, and you know we'll try to get our guys ready uh, by Saturday at uh, seven o'clock. We'll open it up for questions for Coach Barlow from Alabama State. Coach Barlow, how you doing? Donald Hunt filled up your tribute. Uh, I could I could barely hear you, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, Donald Hunt filled up your tribute. How you doing? I'm okay. That's good. Can you talk about Nick Andrews and kind of? And, uh, and, uh, you know, and they're talking about his potential. Because, you know, yeah, well, guys, he's fast. Right. Well, Nick Andrews is, um, when we recruited him, you know, his brother was already here. But, I mean, Nick has it all. I mean, he's uh, he's explosive. Um, he has the best hands out of all the receivers I've seen uh, uh, since I've been here coaching. He runs great routes. Um, um, he, you know, he catches the ball in traffic. I mean, he he has it all. Of course, you know, he's he's only you know five eight, um, but uh, I do believe uh, he has all the ability to uh, play on the next level. I mean, he can return punts and kickoffs, and uh, I mean, he's a he's a guy that's climbing up our career um, um, all time uh, leaders uh, in receiving. I know uh, Shucks last week. I think he uh, moved up to second place and. Uh, he's just a he's a solid guy. He's a great student, uh three point three or so GPA and uh he's uh he's just been a pleasure to have and a uh, pleasure to coach. All right. Coach Barlow, Sports Talk Eleven Sixty from Sheridan Broadcasting. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Coach uh, Greg Jennings injured suffered a hip injury against Eastern Michigan. How well is he is he out for any time? Well, you know, um he Greg could have could have uh come back and, and played in the game on Saturday but of course with you know it being Eastern Michigan and you know we, we wanted to win the game but you know we, we, we know that over the next eight or uh, nine weeks we're going to be in, in SWAC play so uh, we just decided to 
to hold him off. And, uh, you know, I think that was the right thing to do. And, you know, he's a bit sore uh, yesterday when they came over for the conditioning. Uh, he's He was a bit sore. But, um, you know, he's he's a guy that wants to play. And uh, he's, he's going to get treatment around the clock. You know, we're going to treat him three times a day and, uh, you know, make sure that uh, he'll be uh, good and healthy. Uh, for Saturday's game. Yes. Coach uh, Devin Dominguez, he did step in and, and do a credible yeah. job, so you got to feel good about basically having two starting quarterbacks. Come in. It is a blessing. <laughs> um, Devin, you know, he was the guy that took us to the SWAC championship game last year, so, you know, we know what he can We know what he can do, and I think everybody knows his story. He had, you know, probably the reason he's not the starter. I mean, he didn't go through spring ball because of baseball. <laughs> Uh, this summer he was home training for baseball, but um, but he's a he's a solid guy, very confident, very smart, and uh, you know he has all the measurables. He's six five and you know got pretty decent arms, so uh, it's a blessing uh, to have him. And uh, he did step in on Saturday and uh, and do some good things. And we'll get him some more reps this week just in case. Coach, I don't know if it was isolated, but for your defense, uh, the scoring drives that they gave up were to open the game and then to open the second half, so will there be more attention paid to assignment once you get the field before kickoff or right after kickoff and then right after the locker room break? Yeah, um, you know, the, the, the second touchdown they had after the after, uh, after halftime, it was a it was a third down situation. Um Kenji Cotton, our defensive tackle who's playing pretty good for us, he, he had the quarterback. I mean he had him, you know, he, he held on to him and uh, then the guy, you know, was able to get loose, and Kenji grabbed him again. But uh, that one was after the, uh, you know, the beginning of the third quarter, and, and, and the kid ended up breaking for like a, a long uh, run. So I don't, I don't think it's any psyche type thing. It's just uh, uh, on that incident, it was just, you know, that guy making a really big play. But uh, you know, there's, there's always these small things where you look at the tape and say, well, if this guy you know, had come, you know, to the A gap or the B gap like he was supposed to, then, you know, uh, you know, uh, the run might have might not have happened. So, um, you know, Coach Thornton and the defensive staff, those guys do a good job and they're detail oriented and uh you know, we'll make sure we make those corrections uh before our next game. Hey Coach, when you look at Grambling State, what would be most beneficial to you going into the game? Will it be looking and what they did against Alcorn State, or looking at what they did uh, did not do against uh, Louisiana Monroe. Well, you know, um, naturally, what they did against Alcorn, you know, plan a plan the up the FBS schools. I mean, you know, it's it's a good experience, I guess. But I mean, you're talking about playing somebody that got 20 more scholarships than you, and yeah, I mean, it's just I don't know. It's yeah, I guess they pay you to, pretty good to play against them, but it, it's kind of hard to measure uh, a team. I mean, you could look at effort of guys, and, and you know, we'll look at that um, as we watch the tape of uh, their last game. But you know, it'll basically basically be uh, uh, what they did uh, against Alcorn. And one one thing you notice about the Tigers, what I've noticed about them, is the speed they have on defense. Can you talk about that and and how much assignment football will be in effect for your team on offense? Yeah, you said that right. They they do play with a lot of speed. It's a, uh, it's uh, I, I like watching people that play fast. Um, uh, of course, not playing against them, but I like watching. Uh, this Savage guy, he is uh he is playing uh, really fast. Uh, Jamarcus Savage that they have there, and of course those linebackers, uh, Cliff uh, number fifty. He's a he's a solid player, and you know you win championships on uh, on defense and. Uh, Naturally, uh, some of their better athletes are on defense, and we're going to have to uh, match their intensity and match their speed. Of course, we're playing a lot of young guys uh, offensive line-wise. You know, half of the guys we're playing, uh, they are, uh, you know, freshmen or uh, guys who, that, you know, who haven't had a whole lot of experience. So uh, it's going to be a challenge, and we're going to have to match their speed and their intensity. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, Coach Barlow, this is our Roscoe uh, Nance. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, you know, you, you mentioned the Grambling's history and tradition and you know, the fact that they've dominated you guys uh, in recent years. You know, because of those factors, do you look at this as, as a game that will kind of give you a, a, a measuring stick as to where uh, Alabama State is this, uh, this season? 
Well, you know, if you're going to, you know, you want to be the best and you want to be, you know, uh, top in the conference, you always have to go by, uh, you know, who's the, the big-time program and, and who's had the success. And, you know, Gramlin name speaks for itself. And uh, they've, uh, they've had an opportunity to compete for a lot, a lot of championships, and they've always been in it, you know, for the most part. Rarely has it been where, you know, they wasn't in the top two uh, in their conference, but uh, uh, it's just a it's a it's a great program. And I, you know, I remember growing up and my junior high coach telling me, you know, hey, uh, Gramlin is coming on TV, uh, you know, the game, and you know, so it's just that that history and tradition, and and um, you know, it's it's like some of the other. Uh, FBS schools, the Alabamas and the Notre Dames, you know, that carries that name. But uh, it would mean a lot to our program if we would have an opportunity to uh, to, to find a way to get a victory against them. And uh, uh, Jennings, talk about how he's uh, developing uh, grass uh, you guys' system. All right. Well, our system really fits Greg. I mean, it really does. He's a He's an athletic guy that can – you know, he can run the ball and uh, he can make all the throws. And, you know, we, we like to, you know, keep him on the move, spreading him out and all that good stuff. So, uh, but he's he's uh, he's really taking ownership of the system. Uh, he's uh, He's been here uh, this summer and learned it. And, of course, he spends a lot of time over here in the football complex uh, with Coach Moncrief just trying to be a better quarterback. But uh, he's, a, he's a solid guy. And uh, he's been doing a good job for us. Of course, he, you know, he's a little shaky this weekend, but uh, uh, his competitive nature uh, will allow him to be uh, much improved uh, here in the next game. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Any final questions for Coach Barlow from Alabama State? Uh, Reggie, Reggie Benson with the Huntsville Times. How are you? Hey, Reggie. How are you doing? Good. Look, now, if uh, when did when did Greg leave the game? And the second part of that question, if he's unable to go. What do you do with the offense simply because Devin did not participate in spring practice with this group and with this particular offense? Well, um, but Greg went out right before halftime. And uh, when we went in for halftime and our doctor, team doctor, Dr. A.G. there, they looked at him and, um, uh, you know, and just said, you know, hey, he can go if you guys, you know, definitely want to put him back. But uh, we, we decided to hold him off. But, uh, you know, uh, Dominguez is, I mean, I don't, I, I, I think you guys have heard me say it before. He's just, he's just one of those guys that finds a way to make it happen. You know, he's a state champ uh, in high school, and he's a closer in baseball, and he's a confident guy, and he, he, he knows the system. I mean, even though he wasn't here uh, this summer uh, in the spring, he, I mean, he picks it up. He's a, he's a very, very intelligent guy, and. Uh, so you know he he's been you know he's been able to run the offense and uh, you know naturally he's not the runner that Greg Jenkins is so there there'll be uh, one or two changes if he's in there but uh, all in all uh, Reggie he he really understands the system and uh, he's he's done a good job with it and like I said we'll we'll give him um, some more reps uh, this week you know uh, just to make sure that uh, uh, you know that he's ready in case anything goes wrong.